What is up guys? It's your boy Cody Montgomery coming at you guys with another vlog. I'm gonna be busting these out like I told you guys. One question I do get all the time is do you put creamer in your coffee? Uh, and as silly as that seems, um, you know, it's kind of one of the things that keeps me sane. So I always put cream creamer uh, in my in my coffee. I put a little bit of stevia uh, or trivia as you guys saw today. And I usually do like two cups a day, all the way until my show. Maybe two weeks out, I'll cut out, um, you know, that and kind of when I cut out all the variables, you know, keeping stuff in like that as long as you're consistent with it. I don't think it's a huge deal, um, especially if it's going to be something that's going to make you push harder in the gym, stay more motivated, be happier. Which, as silly as it is, I think uh, Creamer does that. So, good morning, first of all. Hope everybody's having an awesome day. Um, it is Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. Um, so I'm pretty damn excited to watch the game. I'm gonna have legs on the agenda early today and then this evening I'm gonna of course watch the game. We are getting our morning rolling. Um, I'm you know the most productive in the morning as you guys um, heard in the last video. Usually when I st uh, wake up, you know, I'll try to get some client emails done. Um, I might actually get some team Montgomery orders done depending on how early I get up. For all you guys that order, I appreciate uh, each and every one of you guys that support. This was one of the original um, sweatshirts that I'm wearing from back in the day. As you guys will see, I take pictures and I send to Chris uh, every other day right now. So it's almost a morning routine um, type thing. This is the first week that we're back, um, obviously with the diet and with the pictures, with the cardio. So we'll send him off pictures. I'll get my weight. Um, I already have my diet plan for the day, but he might, you know, alter some stuff once he sees how I look. So we'll go off that and then I'll bust out my cardio and, um, yeah, so we'll go get to it. Got our questions, don't you? Elbows drop on the 12. New crest kill out shells. Pin you keeps yourself. Can't be better than the best. But I keep better on myself. This is a silent hustle. Silent state with stealth. Hide and fire and blood. And we've got all the personalized cards. So if you guys have ordered from my website, you know that I, almost every order, I am doing every single order now. Um, but it comes with a little personalized notes. So this is kind of, what I do in the morning as well. It takes a little bit of time, so uh, now I'm done with all the orders and I will package these up after, you know, later today. And they'll be on their way tomorrow morning. <laughs> all right, as funny as it is, guys, this is actually, my setup for taking morning pictures, if you guys recognize that. Um, I, I, you know, do a video, and then I screenshot all the photos, and I send them to Chris, but this is kind of like my mirror to make sure the light's all right, and so I, because I'm doing them by myself, I just wanna make sure, um, and I have to take like five dozen pictures. Sorry guys, I'm just admiring the leg gains now that I'm back training for a week. <laughs> Yeah, sheesh. Back in the game, I do this. Sheesh. Back in the game, I'm over. Back in the game, I'm a truest. Back in the game, never losing. Nah, back in the game, I do this. Back in the game, I'm over. Back in the game, I'm a truest. Back in the back in the game, never losing. Nah, niggas wanna be to the E to the me. Gonna pull up to the city in the ATV. Speak back, speak one, climbing to the big leagues like a cheap on a track. I drift through the beat. Got Zenny in the crate, got Zenny in the jeans. You Zenny on the glade, got me fibbing for the scene. Shoulda got some masses and that stuff for me, like we play for. Hit you with a shot, what is that now, huh? Devil Joe, type got me mad now, huh? Devil Joe, Devil Joe, type got me mad now, huh? Back in the game, I do this, shawty, I'm the truest No, I'm never losing, nah Devil Joe, type got me mad now, huh? Drip, drip, Devil Joe, drooling, nah Back in the game, I do this, shish Back in the game, I'm moving Back in the game, I'm a truest Back in the game, never losing, nah Back in the game, I do this Back in the game, I'm moving Back in the game, I'm a truest Back in the, back in the game, never losing, nah Grinding down up to the Sunday, I'm Devil Joe better not piss me off Devil Joe gonna get you one day I'm a Devil Joe never gonna let you off Devil Joe gonna get you one day I'm a Devil Joe Devil Joe Devil Joe 
game, how I do this Sheesh. Back in the game, how I'm moving back, back in the game, I'm a truest Back in the game, never losing nah, Back in the game, how I do this Back, back in the game, how I'm moving Back in the game, I'm a truest Back in the, back in the game, never losing nah. All right, so now that all the uh, all that got out of the way, got some orders done, and uh, as you guys saw, pictures taken. This is actually the heaviest um, that I've been um, as far as sending pictures and being on a diet and stuff. I've never been over 245, so this is the first. I think. Uh, the numbers are going to continue to climb up. Like I said, uh, this is my first week back eating six meals. And I feel like my body's just in a really good spot um, compared to last year. You know, obviously, uh, you know, me having my, my surgery in February, I got really um, depleted, really small. No other way to put it than I got really small. Um, so I was starting from behind. You know, I started dieting, I started sending pictures to Chris last year, probably um, around September, August time frame. And, uh, you know, then obviously I competed in November. Um, you know, when I was sending pictures to Chris, I was not in any kind of good shape. I was very far off. Um, and we kind of just dug our way back for months and weeks and weeks. Um, you know, big shout out to Chris Aceto, my coach. Um, he is the man with the plan. Not only that, but he keeps my head on straight. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, I'm motivated as hell. I'm really fired up. And that kind of just brought up this idea, not even idea. Um, I just get asked all the time. This is one of the most commonly asked, one of the, you know, the, most asked questions that I get. How do you stay motivated? How do you uh, get motivated? And then obviously, how do you stay motivated is even a bigger one. Um, and for me, you know, there is really no option. You know, I'm very dead set in my ways. Um, you know, I was a 15 year old and I said, you know, I want to body build. I want to lift weights and I want that to be my job. And I remember my mom looking at me, you know, I love my mom. My mom's uh, amazing. But she looked at me and kind of laughed. And you know, it kind of hit me in a way. It kind of set a fuel, uh, set a fire on my, you know, put a lot of fuel on my fire. And uh, it's been kind of like that along my whole, my whole life. You know, even, even today I talk to people and they say, man, so this is like what you do. You don't really do anything. And I'm like, I do a lot. People don't realize what is uh, involved with what I do, with bodybuilding, with being professional, um, representing companies, having your own company. Um, not only that, but on top of dieting for years, um, think about eating chicken, you know, twice a day, three times a day for, you don't have an option, you know? It was fun at some point. I love this shit, don't get me wrong. I just mean for the other people in general. Um, you know, this is my passion, man. I remember, you know, when I said I was 15, and I, I look back then, and if I ever get unmotivated now, I'm like, dude, I would have paid to be in the spot that I am now. You know, I'm, I'm blessed, and not only that, but all you guys are blessed in your own special, unique ways. You know, everybody's unique. God made us who we are. And, uh, you know, I really think it's up to us to um, reach our fullest potential of what he set us out to become. And one of the biggest parts of that is believing in yourself. And self-doubt, um, you know, is one of my, I'm not great at it, you know. I self-doubt myself. I've, I've self-doubted myself in the past. 
you guys that have you know followed me closely in my career have probably seen that I've you know doubted myself in the past and uh, you know it shows through on stage shows through in your actions in life shines through in uh, you know everything that you do you're not going to be a hundred you know 110 percent but that being said um, you know even when I started this a week and a half ago of course I'm motivated but was I as motivated as I am today no I'm way more motivated now you know that I got the ball rolling that I got the things moving my weight's gone up you know over 10 pounds just about 10 pounds um, which I kind of expected because I wasn't eating that much um, but you know I'm the heaviest I've just about ever been and I feel like I'm in decent shape. You know, I'm, I'm motivated from the fact that, you know, tomorrow can make me better than today. And, uh, you know, the next day can make me even better. You know, it's, it's the, the matter of making the most of today and realizing, you know, the power that you're, you're given. But it's up to you. No one's going to do this shit for you, especially in bodybuilding, but anything in life. You know, you got to work for it, man. You know, my buddy, John Bartolo, shout out. If, uh, I need to get on his podcast. Apologize for not uh, getting on there last week. It was great seeing you in the shot, brother. The saying goes, expect nothing, prepare for the worst, do your job, and no one f-ing cares. And that's kind of true in life, you know? I've seen it with my bodybuilding um, as much as anything else. You know, only people care. I mean, I, I don't get me wrong. A lot of you guys are loyal through it all, and I really do appreciate all you guys. Um, but you kind of see the people that come and go. People that are there when shining. You know, not the, they're not the same people that are there. Some of them are. And those are the ones that you got to keep around and be truly thankful for, which is why I'm so thankful for, you know, all you guys that are watching me now that I'm a wash up bodybuilder getting fourth place at some small pro show but I'm gonna work my way back up but all you guys that are loyal through it all um, you know it really shows through you know I appreciate all you guys and uh, especially those ones that you know stuck through the thin and thick and thin but in life that's how that's how it's gonna go and uh, you gotta expect nothing do your job and realize that Probably no one cares. And the, the more you realize that, the harder you're gonna work, and the more you're gonna try to shine through. It's just gonna make you that much better. So I'm 10 minutes in right now, just about nine minutes in. Nine minutes of rant to you guys. Let me know down in the comment section how you guys like this. I do cardio all the damn time, so you now I can bring you guys some vlog videos while get my ass kicked on the stairmaster this prep but for real any of you guys out there you know that need uh to stay motivated just remember where you started remember where you can go that's what i always get caught up in not even you know far off think about where you can go soon think about what you can do in the next few days think about what you can do in the next few weeks think about what you can do in the next few months if you guys want to see something crazy Go look at my Instagram. Go look at my transformation photo from February, or actually it was March of 2019 to when I competed in Japan in November. That's months, not years, months of me, probably even weeks, to be honest. I, I I did a good prep, don't get me wrong. But you can ask Chris, we weren't really in it until maybe about eight or 10 weeks out, everything started to click. But weeks, you can make the most of today. You can make the most of this week. You can make the most of next week. And honestly, you can start making shit happen. So stay motivated, guys. Get your cardio in. And uh, hope you guys enjoy these little uh, vlog videos I'm putting together for you guys. I'm not uh, some professional out there with crazy cameras, crazy editing. It's all your boy. It's all me. 
So anybody that orders the Team Montgomery clothes, you know, follows me on the gram, shows me love on these videos, likes, subscribes, and uh, all that kind of stuff. I really do appreciate you guys. And uh, I hope each and every one of you out there stays motivated, but more than anything, stay positive. I think a lot of things to happen when you, uh, when you, when you stay positive, when you have a positive mind, when you have a positive mindset. It's kind of like that movie, Yes Man. You know, you start saying yes, you start being really positive, positive things start to happen to you. And I don't think that's a uh, coincidence. Um, you know, so stay positive, stay motivated, get those meals in, and uh, I wish all of you guys the best. So until next video, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for more. This was a short one. It's not even 8.30 and uh, we're already done, but get some team on going. We're orders out today. Got legs on agenda. Can enjoy the Super Bowl. Hope all you guys do the same. God bless. Until next video.